it is important to realize that from the instant the hand starts moving and throughout the casting stroke, the hand and rod are simultaneously rotating while you are accelerating. Mechanically speaking, the rod is a class three lever. That means that the effort, which is the hand pushing on the grip, is between the load, that's the weight of the line, and the fulcrum, that's the point around which the rotation starts in the body. The farther that fulcrum is from the hand, the faster and farther you can move the rod with no increase in force. It's a matter of more efficient leverage. That fulcrum may be at the wrist, the elbow, the shoulder, the hips, even down into the legs. If the fulcrum is the wrist, the effort arm is about four inches long. If the forearm moves, regardless of the direction, the fulcrum is at the elbow. That's roughly 14 inches. If the upper arm is moving in any direction, the shoulder is the fulcrum. That's about a 24 inch effort arm. Turning the upper body moves the fulcrum to the hips, meaning 40 inches of leverage. The combination of leverage and rotation with acceleration makes for greater casting efficiency.